want to thank Dick Doty for tonight's cigars. Dick Doty, a newsbeat. His wife had a little girl. I also want to thank Hank Katie. I told Hank to get more involved in his posters, and he misunderstood me. And that's a big Hank Katie up there with tonight's film, The Brain That Wouldn't Die. We have a special guest tonight who really needs no introduction. Bob Witten. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Buckley. It's wonderful to be on this interview show. I want to thank Harry for coming down here so late. <laughs> Actually, uh, I have him on for two reasons this evening. One, because my regular guest didn't show up. And uh, <laughs> secondly, I want to clear up all the rumors that have been going around town that, that Harry's washed up. <laughs> <laughs> now, Harry, has, has many fans have written to me about the early show going off the air. And because I do host a movie, and someday it will go off, no doubt. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the last uh, yeah. four pictures you've All had. Right. Right. Well, I wonder if you could clear up how it came about. How long was the early show on? How many years? Uh, it was on from uh, 1963 to 1967, four years. 975 movies, three new ones. <laughs> this was a plaque. That, do you want to hold it up oh, so you know oh. the proper shading? This was a plaque that they gave Harry here at Channel 3 instead of a watch. <laughs> and, uh, you had me bring this down here, didn't you? Hey, this is very right. good being on a late show like this because we were not allowed to smoke cigars on the early, on the early show. show. Is no, that right? Because that was an afternoon program. But when you're on this late, who cares? That's enough. That's who's, wa right. who's watching, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, I, you know, emceeing a show, of course, I read the newspapers and keep up on things and you give me your old varieties and this and that. And I sort of sensed that the early show was going off the air the last few months reading the Sacramento Union. Oh, I and I, I have some comments here from some of the people. Tom Horton, mm -hmm. your, your close oh, friend yes. Tom Horton, yes. the Union. He loved the show, right. Right. He said, Harry Martin's early show, one of the real big reasons why I watch Channel 6. That Did was about Tom six, six, that, six right? weeks ago before uh -huh. you. And Mike Dante, you know Mike. Yeah. Popular uh, columnist for the Union in the widely read nightlife column, you know, in the mm -hmm. yellow uh, section. He had a couple weeks ago. We don't see Harry Martin at the popular restaurants anymore. <laughs> Has Chicken Delight ruined this man's nightlife? <laughs> that, that was a little hint, uh -huh. I thought. Then Kurt McBride, just, uh, just a week before the uh, early show went off. I must just have been a, on vacation. I, I missed that I think you one. were. I mm -hmm. think you were. Kurt McBride, of course, for you out-of-towners, is Sacramento's version of Herb Kane. And he had, uh, rumor has it, that Harry Martin will host a circus show this fall on <laughs> Channel 3. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes. Now, how, why did the early show go off? Uh, can, can you explain the really? Little, yeah. Now the real reason. Well, I'm missing an awful lot. You know, uh, I have to go down to uh, maybe Travis Air Force Base, and this week I was gone for You're three in or the four reserve, days. Sir. No, uh, stars are leaving for Vietnam, yeah. and I have to run down and talk to these uh, people. And I went to L.A. this week for three days. Oh. And uh, also, that isn't the big reason. The big reason is, is there really uh, isn't time. I just saw something underneath my name, uh, underneath my picture there. Uh, there really isn't time to uh, to run two movies in the afternoon. You mm -hmm. have to cut them pretty badly. We ran Sergeant York, and the picture was Private York, you know, by the time I got on the air. That's right. I remember we ran a Dillinger film, and he actually uh, uh, was free at the end of the movie. <laughs> That's he didn't right. go to the movie. <laughs> and now we have the Flintstones on at 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. which meant that uh, time for a full-length movie is actually about 50 minutes. And so that's, that's the big reason. I see. Now you get one big long movie on Valley Playhouse, uncut. Uncut. In color, usually. Now your primary duties at the station will continue in the entertainment field? Yes, yeah. Doing the uh, entertainment news, which I have to write also. And then I still do commercials for the sponsor you just mentioned there a few moments ago. Right. And I also have to go and do interviews. I leave town an awful lot now. So. I know. I. Uh, they were going to try to get you out of town more, uh, <laughs> the program director said, and 